Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Meant to Be Monday. I am your host, Paul Turner. And today I talk to you about being vulnerable. And uh, at face value, obviously being vulnerable simply means that we put ourselves in an awkward place or we open ourselves up to something or we uh, put ourselves in a place where we can be taken advantage of. And uh, as a pastor and as youth pastors, uh, vulnerability can actually be a plus, not a minus. Um, I reason to say is this, I'll give an example is, um, I just recently did uh, some uh, video streaming on Blab, that's blab.im, and I did a meet and greet for youth workers. And uh, and so by the end of the video, we um, uh, were killing time or what are we doing, but there's people who can get into the stream, right? There's people who can click in and say, hey, I want to be a part, and I can, of course, you know, affirm them and tell them, all right, come on in. Well, the last two people that we invited into our session at the end of our session there, our session was really over, but we said, well, let's see who's out there. Well, we found out that uh, a couple of folks uh, who were not people of faith decided to jump in there. Fair enough. They can jump in there and it really wasn't their kind of show, but they wanted to jump in there. One of them, super nice guy, uh, not a person of faith, had told said over and over again, but he said, uh, you know, I have certain feelings about this and about this. And what do you think about this? Super guy. Then the next uh, gentleman who uh, came on board uh, was not nearly as, um, I don't know, he just didn't seem comfortable. And so he felt like um, just asking a lot of questions and, and really it evolved into a um, uh, apologetics kind of thing, uh, which I wasn't really prepared for, but I said, well, all right, well, we're going to talk about it anyway, right? We're going to be here, so let's go ahead and get into it. And so we did. And what I did was I hit the record button early on, and I basically recorded the whole session. And I'll be honest with you, I wasn't very thrilled with my performance. I don't think I did a super job. I don't think I did as well a job as I could as representing my faith or representing uh, Jesus at that moment. So what I did was this past week, we've been doing a series, uh, an alpha series for youth. And so I decided to take that video that I had there. And I said, look, guys, I, I, I look, I engage with people all the time. I like talking to people. Uh, I, I love sharing the gospel. I love talking about faith. And I said, you know what, this is going to, in my own brain, I was thinking, well, you know, this makes me vulnerable. This makes me look like I just don't even know what I'm talking about and I should be whatever. But, um, so I went ahead and showed the uh, half, like, you know, maybe a quarter of the video, half of the video, something like that. And I let the kids watch me struggle a little bit. I let them watch me kind of do my thing the way I do it. Um, of course, I did some things that were right, and I did some things that I didn't think were great at all. So I kind of let them comment on, you know, my uh, performance, if you want to call it that. Uh, but I put myself in a vulnerable position because I want them to know I am in the same boat they are. We are in the same deals. We work with the, we, you know, this is a college career group. So we, we run into people that don't believe the way we believe. And if we want to share our faith, then this is the thing we may get back at us. And so uh, my encouragement, I guess, is to you that are watching this, don't be afraid to put yourself in a vulnerable place. Don't be afraid to put yourself, I know that the image is that we always have to be strong. We always have to be in the know. We always have to be the perfect people and the perfect example and all those things. And I want to encourage you, put yourself in a vulnerable position. Even Jesus, I mean, Jesus put himself in vulnerable positions all the time, right? He uh, he put himself in positions that opened him up, opened him up to things like criticism, uh, mockery, uh, being used by other people. He put, you know, he put himself in positions all the time. I mean, they, they said that he was in league with uh, the devil. <laughs> they said that he was a sinner and a drunkard. All these things, he put himself constantly in position where he was vulnerable, not where he was guarded or protected. In fact, the disciples tried to protect him from people. And he says, no, let the little children come to me. Let that person come. Don't hold them back. And he always put himself in a position. He always kept on mission with what he was doing. He didn't let the fact that he would be in a vulnerable position even cross his mind because he knew what he was going to do. Uh, this reminds me of a, a poem here I'd like to go ahead and just share with you guys. You may, may have heard it, but for the sake of those maybe who have not, I'd like to go ahead and read it. I heard it early on in my ministry, and I, it's a super duper, uh, just a great, um, I don't know, poem to, uh, to remember to stay vulnerable. Uh, it says, people are often unreasonable, irrational, and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, if you are kind people may uh, accuse you of selfish and ulterior motives be kind anyway. If you are successful, you will win some unfaithful friends and some genuine enemies. 
be, be sincere anyway. Uh, what you spend years creating, others could destroy overnight. Create anyway. If you, are, if you find serenity and happiness, some may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today will often be forgotten. Do good anyway. Give the best you have and it will never be enough. Give your best anyway. In the final analysis, it is between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. So do it anyway, guys. Be vulnerable. Put yourself in a position where you don't have all the answers. You don't know everything. You know what? You stay on mission. You stay on what God's called you to do and let others be who they're going to be, but you be who you're supposed to be in Christ and God will begin to work out all those details otherwise. So anyway, guys, thanks for joining me today for a little bit of uh, Mentor Me Monday. I hope you enjoyed. hope you uh, uh, received something from that. If you are uh, brand spanking new, by the way, thank you so much. Thanks for hanging with me for a little bit of time. Be sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you want videos like this in your inbox. And I hope you want videos in your inbox because I have a lot of exciting things coming up for 2016. And even starting this week, you want to be a part of that be sure to hit the subscribe button. And also, if you're a regular, boy, I sure do need to hear from you guys. I really do. I mean, I, I love you guys. I know you guys watch. But I need to hear from you guys about some things you would like to see in the future. Am I hitting all the topics you want to hear about? Am I talking about the things you want to hear? Uh, the reason being is, if you don't know this, I have about 660 subscribers. And the average video has about, on average, 15, maybe 15 viewers, 15 to 20 viewers. Well, that's not even 10% of the 600 subscribers. So if you're one of those 600 subscribers uh, that watch this show regularly, would you do me a favor? Would you share this video with somebody and say, look, there are other youth workers in my community. There's a network of people that could use stuff like this. Uh, they need encouragement. They need coaching. They need all that kind of good stuff. Would you be sure to share these videos with them so that uh, we can know uh, that people are receiving this that are going to get the help they need? And uh, you know who those people are, so I will leave it up to you to share it with them. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button because that lets me know you like the video and you want more of them. And of course, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow on the Tuesday Panic. So uh, we will see you all then. Until then, you guys have a great day. Talk to you later.